So today we're talking about the preface and introduction of Ken Hovind's dissertation. Uh, it was a fun read. A couple notes I want to talk about with my reviews. One, I try not to get too much into his grammar. I know that being too grammar policy can be a bit of a issue. I will point out some places where his grammar has made it to the point where what he's saying is totally opposite of what he means to say. And I will note that his grammar is atrocious and it's something you would expect better from a um, doctoral level thesis, but I'm not going to individually point out stuff because uh, it's not needed. And I wanted to talk about um, that it's so weird that this thing was turned in as a completed thesis. It's definitely not complete. As you'll see partially in here, but later when I get to later parts of the doctoral thesis. And I want to thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm Alanis Garcia, also known as Wazam Now F. Thank you. Miss Kim Van Gundy spent countless hours typing, correcting, and retyping the manuscript. It's a bit interesting to notice that this was done more, by more than one person. There's more than one set of eyes on here. Uh, the issues with it structurally, grammatically, and factually are so bad that you would think anyone typing this up would notice. If Miss Gundy had at least a high school um, education, then the only conclusion I can come up with is that Miss Gundy hated Ken and Kent and decided to let him make a fool of himself. My children have been a great help to me as we set up three tables full of books, bones, tapes, maps, and graphs for each meeting. I remember the three tables. He used to come to our church and bring those. Uh, what you might not know about his ministry is that he would go to church to church sometimes five days a week at one church and part of the way he would make money was that he would take an they would take up a love offering for the uh, person who was attending that day you know in this case it would be Ken, Ken Holden Hobine and instead of a regular offering this money would be, go to him and he would get money from that but he would also have three tables set up full of books that he would try selling he often would point out these books in his speeches to you know pump up the sales be like, yeah, we're talking about dinosaurs here, and if you really want to know more about dinosaurs, you just check out my book, and he would pick up a book and show it and talk about how much it was. You know, just the basic kind of thing you would see on a, a televangelist when they're talking about their new product. Many science teachers and writers have left their mark in my life. Some of these have been evolutionists, and some have been creationists. All these people he said who has influenced him, he will be later on misquoting, making fun of, and getting their names wrong. Just a heads up. Hello, my name is Kent Hovind. I've been very active in the creation slash evolution controversy for quite some time. The more I learn of this so-called controversy, the less I think of it as a controversy and more of a fight between George Foreman and a toddler. It's that lopsided. It worked there, so he, the devil, has used it ever since. This is Kent talking about evolution. As we'll see in chapter one, he thinks that the devil has been pushing evolution for the last 4,000 years. And the fact that humanity is still around and still kicking tends to tell me he's failing at that plan. I mean, even Cobra Commander would occasionally change up. After the weather dominator failed, he got a new one. You know, a mind control device or something. I think the devil might want to um, bring up his game, otherwise he's getting beaten by six-year-old cartoons. Christians are often guilty of neglecting or twisting the Bible to fit their lifestyle or their preconceived ideas. As opposed to Christians who bury their head in the sand whenever there's evidence that contradicts their belief that Genesis is the literal interpretation of how the, bi the world was created. I believe that God's word is infallible and flawless in every detail. If the Bible says that something was created a certain way, then that is just the way it happened. Now, as a science teacher, I want to keep an open mind and understand why, how, and when God created the earth, if those things can be known. There are some things we cannot understand, and some things I believe that we can. His tests were really easy. All the answers were, God did it. Thanks, Simpsons.
Many things I can document and verify with the experts, whatever an expert is. If you're writing a doctoral thesis in the subject, you should be able to tell who the experts are and tell why they are the experts in that field. Only God knows all the details of how it really happened. I believe he has revealed many details about the original creation in his book, The Bible. Everything else we come up with down here is just our theory. A uh, game theory! Thanks for watching! The chapters, and consequently the subject matter of the book begins by discussing the history of evolution. Where did we get this crazy idea anyway? Darwin. Joking aside, the answer he's going to go for is Satan. Could it be... The second chapter deals with the fact that evolution is a religion and not a science, and therefore should be excluded from public school curriculum. Like how creationism is? In the fifth chapter we discuss the Big Bang Theory. Do we really have to? We know it's a terrible TV show. We took ten chapters of the book to destroy the edifice of evolution and clear away the rubble so that we could build on a clean foundation. A building which walls are made up of 3,000 year old incorrect documentations. In chapter 16 we give the creationists alternative theory to explain the geologic features of the earth within a 6,000 year framework. Thank you for coming and watching my show. Uh, please tune in next time and be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notified next time I do a show. And if you have questions please don't hesitate to put comments in the uh, bottom of my videos. I do read them all. Thank you.